Okay guys, so it's time for the second ride on the Marketplace Can-Am X3. If you haven't seen the first video on my main channel, this Can-Am was on the more inexpensive side. I picked it up for nine grand on Marketplace and the challenge was to take it directly to the trails and see how long it would last. Didn't even change the oil, just checked to make sure it was in there. Didn't check tire pressure or anything like that. We didn't even check the air filter, which ended up being kind of crazy. Oh, dude. We did end up blowing a rim out, but that's just something that happens. It's not exactly that the unit itself was faulty. Oh shit! What the f was that? F I mean, you can literally wow. fit a finger through that. So we swapped out the rims, and this is just riding around the house at Power Sports Nation, but they've got some pretty cool trails, and I'm here with Liam Dickey, and we ended up kind of pushing it a little bit hard, and I thought it would be cool to share this video. One thing I did notice, though, is that I had pulled that old dusty air filter out and had a new one that I needed to pick up, and I never put it back in. We just got so excited to ride, and I completely forgot. So this entire ride is with no air filter or air box cover on, so... <laughs> The inlet, which could scoop up dirt, is literally right in front of the rear tire. Not good, but uh, I guess we'll just see what happens. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and definitely check out the main channel. If you haven't seen the first video on this X3, it's pretty good. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Dude, I just want to ride. I don't give a fuck what we do. Don't matter to me, man. Yeah, we're out here. We can have some new trails that we gotta explore. Alright. So we're gonna loop the normal one, and then we're gonna go explore new trails.
almost rolled it the second time that spot where the whoops were and you make that that new that new spot to the right i almost that's I, like a I did the same thing i literally had it on two wheels and i was looking at the ground and i was like oh fuck. yeah must yeah, must well, i smell it i'm smelling some uh antifreeze If it breaks, it breaks. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Right. You want me to follow you, you follow me. Dude, you want to drag race them? Yeah. Can we still do the cornfield? Yeah. Let's do it. Where's the finish? You ready? All right, on go. Three, two, one, go. I think we got him. I'm gonna do two wheel. Two wheel drive. On your go. What? Was it? Did I? It looked like it was pretty even. It was. You just had a better start. You got it off. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, this thing is all over the place in two-wheel drive. <laughs> no traction, dude. <laughs> I don't think I was gonna say, holy shit. But it's just like Dude, I was all over the place. <laughs> Alright. Are you in two wheel now? Yeah. All right, you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. It's <laughs> a pretty good race, dude. <laughs>
Oh yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. It's crazy how well these things handle. And it's like this machine is kind of... to like 220. 
if I remember correctly. That's when you got to really start worrying. Maybe 205, something like that. Dude, I'm smoking pretty good. Yeah. Yes, you are. Runs good, though. I'm hoping it's just an antifreeze overflow. It is. <laughs> Dude, that was super fun. You crushed me in that little tight section, the new section, though. Yeah. Yeah, the one time I was, like, a little bit close to you, and then I saw why you kept gapping me, because that one straightaway that's super rough and, like, out to this way, I kind of cruised that, and I heard you were not cruising. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best part though dude flying down this and then locking it up and going sideways around that corner that's the best part it's fun. yeah 